Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to be here this morning with you for chapel. I'm sad that we can't be together, but I'm so excited that we can still sing together. Uh, we are gonna start this morning with a prayer and then we're gonna sing some songs. God, thank you so much for today. We are thankful that we're healthy and we're thankful for our parents and our families and we're so thankful for our school and we're thankful that even though we aren't together, that we can be together through technology and that we can sing songs and learn a chapel lesson together. We love you so much and we hope that uh, you are blessing our time together. Amen.
glad to be with you. I love to spend time with you guys, and I love to dig into God's Word with you guys. Before we start, you think we can pray? Yeah. Yeah? Jacob, will you pray with me? Will you come on up here? Baby Fiona will. You're going to bring Fiona with you too? Here, let's pray. I love to talk to the Lord. Do you love to talk to the Lord? Me too. Sometimes when we talk to the Lord, we like to close our eyes. So it helps us to concentrate just on God. Can we close our eyes and be still? Go ahead, Jacob. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for my animal. Thank you for this whole world. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Jacob. I love talking to God. And I love that Jacob can talk to God too. Diggs, where's Diggs? Diggs, do you like to talk to God? Where's Diggs this morning? You think he's in there? I, I just saw it. Diggs, Diggs, Diggs. I just saw oh. his feet. Oh, Jacob saw your feet. Good morning, Diggs. Hi, JT. Diggs, do you like to talk to God too? You do? What's that, Diggs? Diggs says that he wants to be strong when he grows up. He wants to be strong like the champions of faith that we've been talking about in the Bible. And who is that? That's right. We talked about, who did we talk about? God. We talked about Joseph, and we talked about Esther, and we talked about David and Samuel and Mary and Martha. We talked about some pretty big champions. Diggs said he was telling his mom he wants to be big and strong like all those champions that we've learned about in the Bible this year. What'd mom say? Oh, Diggs, your mom always has good advice. Do you want to know what his mom said? No. His mom said, Diggs, if you want to be strong like those champions of faith, you need to feed your soul. <laughs> feed your soul. I think that's some good advice. Diggs says he likes to eat. Do you boys and girls like to eat? Yeah. You do. And what kinds of things do you like to eat? What kinds of things do you like to eat? A lot of fruit. You like all the fruit. That's good. What do you, what do you like to eat? Cheese, cheese, cheese quesadillas. Cheese quesadillas. I like those too. What do you guys like to eat? Pizza. And what do you guys like to eat? Oh my goodness. You guys really like to eat some good stuff. When you, what's that? When you get, when you get hungry, if you don't eat, what, how do you feel? Uh, you feel hungry, right? Yeah, and your belly hurts. Your belly might hurt if you get hungry. That's right. Your belly might hurt if you get hungry. And also, it might make you feel uncomfortable. How about grouchy? Does it ever make you feel grouchy or hangry if you get hungry? That's right. Sometimes it makes us feel a little bit grumpy. And what? Do you ever get that rumbly in your tummy? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, what's that, Diggs? <gasps> Diggs says he has a rumbly in his tummy right now. Oh, my goodness, Diggs. Do you think we should check his heart? Yeah, we could baby Fiona. Can we check his heart? Hey, Nick, will you help me check Diggs' heart? I never did check Diggs' heart. Here, Nick, here. Can you, there's his heart. Do you see it inside there? Look at that heart. What's inside his heart? Pull it out. Here, turn, can you turn around? <laughs> what does he have? A sandwich. A sandwich. What else does he have in there? What else does he have in his heart, Nick? What is that? A Kit Kat. He has a Kit Kat bar. Oh my goodness. I, like I don't know. Here, let's put his heart back. Can we put I it like back? Kit Kats. You like Kit Kats? Me too. Diggs, Diggs says he likes Kit Kats too. He likes Kit Kats and he likes sandwiches. I need to eat. Oh my I goodness. I need to eat bills. Diggs, you, you, you got a peanut butter sandwich in there. You're using your heart like a lunchbox. <laughs> Silly Diggs. He's got a peanut butter sandwich and he's got a Kit Kat bar. And what's that? He says he really wants to eat his Kit Kat bar, but his mama said, what do you think she said? He has to eat his sandwich first and dinner. That's right. He has to eat his sandwich first before he can have his Kit Kat bar. Your mom is so smart. She's always got good advice for you, Diggs. Hey Diggs, can I put your lunch right here and we'll get it later? We're gonna put Diggs' lunch there. He's gonna have it later. Boys and girls, do your mom, does your mom tell you that? Does she tell you you have to eat your meat yeah. and your vegetables before you can be finished with dinner? Yeah. You know, Diggs, I don't think your mom is trying to be mean. I think she loves you. Boys and girls, do you think your mom loves you when she tells you that you have to eat your food first yeah. before you yeah. can be done with dinner? Yeah. Because she knows that food is important for your body, Diggs. If you're going to grow and be big and strong, and boys and girls at home and my friends in class, if you're going to grow and be big and strong, you have to feed your body. And we have to feed a good food. Candy is yummy, but that's only a sometimes food. We have to eat healthy foods like our meat and our vegetables and our fruit and our milk and all that good stuff so we can grow up strong and healthy. But you know what, Diggs? Your mama told you that you need to feed your soul. 
you know, feeding your body and keeping your body healthy is very important, but feeding your soul is just as important. You know, does anybody know how to feed your soul? Your soul is that part of your body that you can't see. It's the part of your body that lasts forever, that can go to heaven one day. It's important to keep our body healthy, but it's even more important to keep our soul healthy. So what's that? Do you want to know how to keep your soul healthy? Well, Diggs, I have the perfect Bible verse for you. Want to be bigger than Diggs, me? That's right. Let's dig into God's word together. You think we can? Yeah. Oh, let me find Diggs. My Bible is way down at the bottom of your house. Oh, there it is. Diggs loves to dig into God's word. Does anybody know what Diggs' favorite food is? No. Mm, think about it. Yes. He lives, what is it, Nick? Sandwich. <laughs> he might like that sandwich. You know, he's got something special on his peanut butter sandwich. Do you know what he has on there? What? His favorite food. Oh, it's so good. It's made him happy just thinking about it. Diggs' favorite food is honey. Diggs <laughs> loves to go scoop up some honey. Mm, now lick it right off his paw. Mm -hmm, that's some good stuff. I don't know if you boys and girls have had honey, but Diggs' favorite food is honey. So Diggs, you're going to like this Bible verse. You guys ready to look at the Bible together? Yeah. We're looking at our Bible and we're looking at Psalm 119. And Psalm 119 is so long, it has 100, more than 100 verses. So we're looking at verse 103 and it says, are you ready? Let's look at it together. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Diggs! God is talking about your favorite food. Did God say something about honey? Yeah. What did God say about honey? Let's read it again. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. That means God's word is more important and better for us than your favorite food. Yes, in the Bible. Do you think so? You think God's word is more important than our favorite food? It sure is. You know, we can give our soul food. Soul food comes from God. It doesn't come from the grocery store or the refrigerator. You know, we feed our bodies by having snacks and lunch, and we feed our soul by studying God's words. And we feed our soul by listening to godly music, like the music Mrs. Harrison sings with us. And we feed our soul by um, praying. Do you know what? This morning, our friend Jacob fed his soul and our souls when he prayed with us and for us. Thank you, Jacob. And you know what? Let's watch my friend Brooke from Miss Bryant's class. Are you ready to try your Bible verse for today? Yes! Yes? Okay. All right. Therefore. Therefore. If. Anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Second Corinthians 5.17. Great job. Give me a thumbs up. So proud of you. Thanks. Say hi, everybody. Hi, hello, everybody. Thank you, Brooke, for sharing your Bible verse with us. Brooke is feeding her soul when she learns her Bible verses. And I also know that Jeremy from Mrs. Bryan's class learned his Bible verse. And Mrs. Sims, who learned their Bible verse in your class? Lila sent me a video. Lila's learning her Bible verse too. I'm so proud of you guys. When you memorize your Bible mm -hmm. verses, you are feeding your soul. Are you learning yours too? I, 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 when I do a Zoom call, I always see Lila. Oh, I'm so glad that you get to see your friends and share what? Bible verses. And you know your Bible verses too. That's right. So, you know what, boys and girls, we usually eat at least three times a day. Let's count it. We eat breakfast, and we eat lunch, and we eat supper. And sometimes we have morning snack and afternoon snack. So we eat three times a day and sometimes more. Do you think we can feed our soul a couple times a day too? What are some ways we can feed our soul this week? Boys and girls, let's think about some ways we could feed our soul. Hmm. Do you, by eating we feed our body, how can we feed our soul? Um, by eating vegetables. We eat vegetables and that feeds our body. We can feed our soul. How about, look, I got a question for you. Do you ever pray before you go to bed? Yes. Then you feed your soul. Do you listen when your parents read the Bible or a Bible story to you? Yes. Do you listen when your teacher reads you a Bible story? Yes. Then you're feeding your soul. And do you listen to music that sings about the goodness of God? Yes. Then you're feeding your soul. And what? We feed our bellies. 
Every day, I want you guys to try really hard this week to look for ways to feed your soul. I love eating bagels we with you. That's right. We don't want our bellies to go hungry, and so we don't want our don't soul want. to go hungry either. And boys and girls, I'd love for you to share with us how you are feeding your soul this week. We'll boys and girls, in now. let's look at God's word one more time. Psalm 119. Verse 103, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Can we pray? Close yeah. your eyes and bow your head. Oh, dear God, thank you for coming into our lives and forgiving us and saving our souls. Lord, help us to build strong bodies and help us to build strong souls so we can be champions of faith. Give us hunger for your words so we can go strong in our faith and so we can stand up against temptations and against evil of the world. Encourage the boys and girls, Lord, to find ways to feed their soul this week. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.